Let's go Lions. Press the like button if you wholeheartedly love the Detroit Lions. I've got some exclusive news for you today, and it's all about our second year receiver, Jamison Williams. He's back at the team facility this week after serving the first half of his six week suspension for violating the league's gambling policy. Yeah, you heard that right. Jamison's back. Now, before you get too excited, there are some restrictions in place. According to Lions coach Dan Campbell, Jamison can attend team meetings, which is a good start, right? But that's about it for now. He can't hit the practice field just yet. We're all eager to see him back in action, but we'll have to wait a bit longer for that. Here's the scoop on what Jamison is allowed to do during the first three weeks of his suspension. He can't join group workouts, practices, or even attend home or away games. Plus, no community events, press conferences, or media appearances. It's pretty strict. But here's the exciting part, folks. The Lions, led by team president Rod Wood, are working hard to try and get Jamison some more freedom before his suspension ends after week six. Could he join in on those non-practice workouts that Teddy Bridgewater holds with teammates? Well, it's on the table, and they're pushing for it. The good news is that Jamison's hamstring injury, which kept him out of the final preseason games, seems to be in the rearview mirror. Coach Campbell confirmed he's good to go. Now mark your calendars because Jameson Williams will be eligible to return to action for our Week 7 matchup against the Baltimore Ravens. We're counting down the days. But hey, before I wrap this up, don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited to see Jameson back on the field, and if you appreciate this exclusive update. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more Detroit Lions news and updates. Now, I want to hear from you Lions fans. What do you think about Jamison's return and the team's efforts to get him back in action sooner? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for your support.